Eric Ray's Petaluma. It's hard for me to describe what I do because I, I don't, I don't. Uh, it depends on what I'm thinking about at the moment. Uh, right now, I'm a, I'm a pinstripe artist. Uh, in ten minutes from now, it's going to be uh, an airbrush artist. Later on today, it's going to be the uh, uh, most important thing is a father. So it's real hard to kind of describe what I do, but but I am a, a, a motorsports artist uh, ultimately. Up in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do some uh, work today on uh, Ronnie Noon's uh, '63 uh, Pro Mod Corvette, like 3,500 horsepower, fire-breathing dragon on wheels. Born and uh, I just combined the two. I, not on purpose, it just kind of happened on its own. Um, I've been drawing as long as I can remember, and my dad's been dragging me out to the drag strip for as long as I can remember. too is I mean my mind is I, I'm always I always have drag racing on my mind and it's because that's what I'm so passionate about it's something so personal to me and it's something that I get back tenfold of what I give and I give a lot so so when I watch this it's weird for me because uh, I don't I don't get to see me doing what I do so second nature like, you know. Oh, this is a, 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 a replica of a 1953 Studebaker, which is, it has a very aerodynamic body and uh, a 1200 horsepower engine. And on this run, I'll go 750 at 175 miles an hour. And it goes really, really quick. So that's the part that they call the burnout, where you, you, you heat the tires up until they smoke. You can see the smoke coming out of the cockpit there um, to, to get the tires nice and sticky so that you don't you don't spin the tires at all. So now what I'm doing is I'm pulling up and getting ready to stage at the starting line, checking everything, making sure the car is ready to go, temperature. And then one, once I'm at the starting line and I'm ready to race, you hit this button. Now I'm watching my competitor to see, because he's faster than me, I want to make sure that I beat him by four inches. So even though I'm going 175, I'm not even watching where I'm going. <laughs> 